Yes, it's it's in in here na with us na. Okay. Okay. So, good afternoon everyone. My name is Kathy. I am the marketing officer for Bria Condo Cagayan de Oro City. So, I think mga last Last Wednesday, I'm not quite sure. Um, we were invited by Miss Melona to to do project or orientation about Bria Homes, and I guess this is not the first time since you've conducted na exclusive orientation for our Bukidnon project. Am I right? Yes, nakabenta na, 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 nakabenta na kami oh, doon, ma'am. <laughs> oh my God! I'm expecting after this. This one, my benta tayo. <laughs> that's good. That's good to hear. Okay. Um, um, na mentioned din ni Sir kanina na we have um, participants coming from Cagayan de Oro City. So, um, it's it perfect kasi um, I will be discussing exclusive projects in Cagayan de Oro City. So, this is different audience, sir, from ano, our Bukidnon nga orientation, or it's just the same? Um, I'm not sure, but I think this is just... Uh, uh, the, the same, the or audience. may iba meron. Um, this, may bago, yung may, iba, same lang din. Ba, siguro, ma'am. Okay. Sige, that's good. Um, so... I will just discuss about our project uh, in Cagayan de Oro City. But before that, uh, together with me this afternoon is actually one of the marketing officer also for our horizontal project. So in Cagayan de Oro City, we offer vertical projects and horizontal projects. So when we say vertical projects, those refers to condominium projects. Projects and then horizontal projects. Those refers to house and lot projects. So um, um, we always brag and we always say that our packages in Bria Homes are actually selling like pancakes. So later, we discuss ni Janisa for our horizontal project. Kung gano siya kabilis mabenta and even the vertical projects. Kung gano siya kabilis ebenta. So um. Just to recap, I think we have, just like what we have in um, dalawang, dalawang project na ata yung nag-sold out sa Cagayan de Oro <laughs> for the house and lot sa, ano, sa Cagayan de Oro City alone. So we're still looking for another Roland kung saan pa pwede yung Bria Homes kasi ang taas ng demand for house and lot in Cagayan de Oro City. And as well as for um, condominium projects. So um, before I will start, I will just give you a um, background about our company. So welcome to Via Homes. Um, we are now considered to be as, of course, pambansang pabahay ng Pilipinas. The, um, the choice of every Filipino. Uh, I'm not sure if you are familiar with Bria Homes, but um, I hope kilala nyo na kami. So, uh, we are a subsidiary company of Golden Bria Holdings Incorporated. So, of course, you know Camellia, you know Lumina. Those are um, businesses or those are developers na under Vista Land. So, Vista Land is our competitors. <laughs> Joke lang. <laughs> well, um, Vista Land is our sister company, if I may say. So, still, Bria Homes is managed and owned by Sir Manny Villar. So, we are a company that engages in the development and sale of memorial parks and housing communities in the Philippines. So, Golden Bia Holdings Incorporated is the third largest real estate company in terms of market capitalization. Uh, the, the values here are, the digits are not updated. So, approximately amounting more than 200 billion pesos. So, Bria Homes is the fastest growing mass housing devel developer in the Philippines. So, we cater to ordinary Filipinos. Of course, um, what's good in Bria is our packages ranges from socialized to economic housing or condominiums. And those kind 
of market we have it's a larger part in the Philippines. So, of course, kanina, written, uh, sa presentation earlier, those are big packages. And um, not all people, let's be true and let's be honest, there will always be a market for um, high-end house and lot, high-end subdivision, but nowadays, or if we look really to the um to kung sino ba kung ano yung larger market ng Philippines na sa mga ano eh, sa economic to socialized na packages so that is why our projects are very in demand at madali siyang maubos okay so we are present to more than 50 development of the country's 40, of 40 of the country's most progressive cities and municipalities. So, um, Cagayan de Oro is one of that as one of the most progressive cities in Mindanao, the gateway to northern Mindanao. So, there is no question kung bakit siya in demand and kung bakit siya selling like a pancake. Okay, so are we still good? Yes, ma'am, we're good. Okay. Um, um, tell me if masyado kong mabilis magsalita or um, hindi niyo ako naiintindihan so that we can adjust. <laughs> okay. So, um, by the way, if you have questions, um, uh, you can reserve them later. Do not worry, I will be answering all of them. So, Especially, I want you to, um, I want you to focus on my presentation because had to just like what happened in the ba sa bukid non after the presentation, oh, ba na nakabenta. <laughs> so we have more than fifty, um, or um, fifty audience, one hundred audience watching in our Facebook live and this, um, in this meeting room. So. I expect na mag-sold out ang aming project right after. Sa inyo ha pa lang. <laughs> and of course, the only um, thing or ang atong power to para ma-achieve na siya is to really have focus on what we are doing. So, um, as we all know, if you are in a real estate industry, you can never go wrong in real estate. This is the best business with... Uh, let's say, with no capital, ba? All you need to do is your beautiful and handsome faces. <laughs> the way you talk. <laughs> so, what are you doing? And especially now online, if you are kanang super um, techy, daghan yung possible na makatch ng market. And what's good in real estate kasi, ba? As they always say, if you want to earn millions, you should sell millions. So we are here to help you earn your millions in Bria Home. So um, without any further ado, uh, since I, I am the marketing officer of the vertical project of Bria, Bria Condo, so I will be discussing first the Bria Condo project. Right after that, this one is our house and that project. Okay. So, welcome to Bria Kondo Cagayan de Oro. So, okay. Why Cagayan de Oro City? Of course, I've mentioned earlier. Um, based on the latest Cities Municipalities Competitiveness Index, of course, Cagayan de Oro City has always been one of the top progressive cities in Mindanao. So, we are not the only condominium present in Cagayan de Oro City. And have you ever wondered nganong booming or why is it ang condominium projects are very booming in, in this city? Not just in the city, but all over the Philippines. I mean, we have kasi this kind of mindset na if you sell condo, most if not all of your clients will tell you na, Amam or sir, we prefer house and lot. Uh, sir, house and lot, ma'am, house and lot. So, 
I don't know if you have encountered that one, pero kasagara nga na eh, they are very hesitant in selling condominiums. It's because they think it's very hard to sell. Well, if I may tell you, it's easier to sell si condo compared to house and lot. And we have a much bigger market for condominium compared to house and lot. So, diba, for example, if you sell, you offer house and lot, specifically, you are offering that one too, especially for house and lot in, uh, in the Philippines. Sino ba ang makaka-own ng house and lot? Only certified 100% Filipino. If you offer condominiums, you can sell it to Filipino people, Filipino citizens, and to foreigners. So they can own a condominium a house and lot. So, and Philippines is a very diverse country. So diverse, when I say diverse, of course, you look to your left, ay Pinoy. You look to your right, of course, you're not sure kung Pinoy, Chinese, uh, I mean, kung Chinese, Korean. So, yung nga ka inviting na, na country. So, there are a lot of foreigners who do business here, who settles here. They find to love, they find partners. So, and of course, if they are here, what are they looking for? So, if they want to stay here, ano yung unang-una nilang hinahanap? Of course, a place to stay. And since they cannot own a house and lot, they shift to condominium investment. And aside from that, um, you can offer condo. Condo kasi is a very good investment. If it's not a place for you to stay, it's a very good investment. Kasi, um, it's a passive income. Kumuha ka ng unit, ipa-rent mo, or ipa-Airbnb mo. Airbnb, I, 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 I hope you know Airbnb. So, it's an online application wherein you can book a accommodations anywhere in the world. So, you can register there. So, it's, it's a very good form of investment as well. So, um, sa'yo na pupunta yung property, parang, as they say, iba yung nagbabayad sa monthly rental, pero ikaw yung nag own ng condominium. So, that's a very good thing about condo. So, of course, kagayan, the Oriol City is the gateway to Northern Mindanao. Um, hindi big sabihin na yung project nasa Cagayan de Oro City, most of our clients are coming from Cagayan de Oro City. So, um, most of our clients are, we have clients coming from Bukidnon Province, we have clients from Lanao del Norte, from Cebu, from Luzon. So, we have a wide range of clients all over the Philippines. And one of the reasons why they invest in Cagayan de Oro City is because, um, economically speaking, they have business here. So they come here twice, three times a week. Yung sa mga malalapit na mga cities na may business dito sa CBO. So they prefer condo investing. Pag dito sila, um, ipaparent. I mean, they have a place to stay. If wala naman sila dito, may ano sila, offer sila for rental. So, de ba? Ganun kaganda yung investment, yung condo investment. So, I don't know if may narinig kayo sa background. Sorry, may, may nag uh, representation din sa iba. So, our project in, um, in Bria Kondo is located at Dandelion Street, Barangay Kauswagan, Cagayan de Oro City. So, it has a total master plan of one hectare consisting of seven buildings with a total of 560 units. All throughout this presentation, it represent ko kung ilang units na lang yung natira, ilang buildings na yung nasold out. Okay. So, I have a clear ayon. So, this is our direction map for our site. So, if you are familiar from, especially those coming from Cagayan de Oro City or katong mga taga CBO talaga, if you are familiar with the new Toyota building, um, the first, parang, ano ba tawag doon? Napalik ko. 
I don't know what's the term. Basta yung crossing, first crossing from Toyota, from that highway, approximately 300 meters from that highway, yun yung site natin. Mm -hmm. So it's very near from the National Highway. So what's the nearby establishment in Bria Kondo? Five minutes away to Polymedic Medical Plaza, seven minutes away to SNR Cagayan de Oro City. Mga seven minutes away from Save More, tapos ten minutes away from Liceo de Cagayan University. We also have, I think, twelve minutes away from if you are going to Seven Seas Adventure Park, and then ano pa ba? Um, may church din na malapit sa atin. Um, Echo Church, meron dyan, mga 10 minutes away. So, ganun yung mga nearby establishment natin. So, we are really located in the heart of Pagayan de Oro City. So, this is our site development plan. So, di ba na mention ko kaniha, kanina, we have proposed for the one hectare project, we have approximately seven buildings in total. So, my first building, Crimson, that sold out. By the way, we started this project, I think, year not sure, 20, ano tayo, 2020, 2020 tayo nga. I think, mga 20, 2016. So, first building, Crimson, that sold out. Second building, Scarlet, that sold out. Third building, Magenta, sold out last year. And then, ito, si Azur. Na open ko siya mga late last year, very few, few units left. So, I will show you later kung ilang inventories na lang yung natitira for our building as well. As for the fifth, sixth, and seventh building, hindi pa natin siya in open for selling as of this time. So, andito pa tayo sa fourth building as well. Okay, so this is very important. I want you to take a look on this. Kung kaya nyo mag-screenshot, mag-screenshot kayo. Ito yung building perspective natin. This is the most important. Ito yung always tinatanong ng mga clients nyo when you try to sell a condo or a project in a property. So, Bria Condo is a four-story walk-up condominium. Uulitin ko, this is a four-story walk-up condo. So when you see walk-up, stairs only. I hope that's clear. We have 20 units per floor. So 20 times 4. That's a total of 80 units per building. Yung parking area natin, kasi it's always a ano eh, partner eh. Pag kumuha ka ng condo, always tinatanong kung Ma'am, sir, magkano yung parking? As of this time, our parkings are for free. So, lahat ng mga unit owners na nakatera doon sa building natin, or sa air, subdivision natin, wala pa silang binabayaran doon. But in time, we will be selling that one. So, since our parking areas are for free, this first come for serve basis. Again, that's temporary only. We will be selling that in the future. Wala pa lang tayong price sa ngayon. So, um, that's why we offer it for free. Okay. So, this is the floor plan per floor. Yeah. So, one, two, ayan. So, 20 units per floor. Ito yung stairs. Ganyan. Okay. So, Another important thing, um, Bria Kondo only offers studio units. So sa lahat na nag-attend dito, if may mag-message sa akin, Ma'am Kat, pahingi computation ng 1BR ng 2BR. Titingnan ko yung attendance kung sino yung hindi nakikinig. <laughs> Joke lang. <laughs> okay, Bria Kondo exclusively offering a studio unit. So, lahat studio units. But, we offer the biggest studio unit in Cagayan de Oro City. So, that's a total of 24 square meter floor area na um, studio unit with balcony na siya. So, ito yung parang floor perspective niya. 
Okay, so ayun, ma'am, sabi mo lahat, ano, studio units, but we can offer combined. So again, wala tayong tinatawag na 1BR, wala tayong tinatawag na 2BR. We have studio units and then combined units. So what is combined? Of course, dalawang studio unit na pwedeng, ano, may access door ka from one unit to the other. Pero hindi pwedeng tanggalin yung buong wall from one unit to the other. We can give you door size only. So, 24 plus 24, that's a total of 48 square meter. So, it's a, it's equivalent, more than equiv equivalent for a two-bedroom ng other condos in Cagayan de Oro City. And this is very, very, very affordable. Later, sasabihin ko yung price. Okay, so amenities. Of course, a subdivision, a condo subdivision wouldn't be complete without a beautiful amenities inside. Um, the subdivision itself, it's guarded 24-7. So may apat tayong CCTV cameras and 24-7 na security guards sa ating guard house. We also have clubhouse in the subdivision. Ayan. May fitness gym para sa gustong maging fit. Mahilig mag-exercise. And we also have our indoor swimming pool. Okay. As of this time, um, two buildings natin, yung, di ba, three buildings na na-sold out. The first two buildings, si Crimson, siya kasi Scarlet, um, ready for occupancy sila. So, may mga nakatera na doon. As of this time, yung amenities natin is um, for construction pa lang. So, hindi pa siya present sa subdivision natin, pero may area na tayo allocated. Sisimulan sana siya this this year unfortunately ito nga medyo nagkapan i mean with the crisis right now para ang naano siya na on hold pero by the time na we will resume construction of course we will be prioritizing our amenities kasi may marami nang use sa subdivision si ano naman si third building magenta yung sold out na na building si building natin is Ongoing construction, nasa 75% complete na siya. Pero wala na tayong units. If ever lang may mga reopen, ganun. Tsaka lang nakakaroon ng units available. Si fourth building naman is ongoing construction. Nasa mga 20% complete na tayo for the fourth building. So, for the other buildings, hindi pa natin siya sinisimulan. Okay, so here is the price. Kung kaya nyo ring screenshot, screenshot nyo na. Or kung gusto niyo humingi sa akin, bibigyan ko naman kayo. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know if you have um, observed. Ma'am, iba-iba yung price per floor. Yes. For cheapest price natin sa fourth floor. Siyempre, it's a walk-up condo. So, medyo, paano ba yan? Um, medyo hangak na magsak. Ano bang third one? So, kasi nasa pinakataas siya, tsaka walang elevator, kaya super mura siya. It's 1.8 million. And then, next to the second cheapest is the ground floor, 1.865. Ma'am, bakit mura si ground floor? A walk-up condo siya. Um, kasi si ground floor, di ba na-mention ko kanina, lahat ng units natin, studio units, tapos, all with balcony. Pag nasa ground floor ka kasi medyo hindi mo ma-appreciate yung value ng balcony kasi ka-level lang siya ng floor. Tapos, um, yung, yung parking areas natin, some of our parking areas are in between the buildings. So imagine if nasa ground floor ka, tapos may nagpa-park, maingay, or paggabi, super liwanag. So kaya medyo medyo binabaan natin siya ng presyo. So, um, pinaka-expensive natin na unit is nasa, sec nasa second floor. That's 1.9 million. 1,936,000. Second floor is our prime units. Isang akyat mo lang, units mo na medyo elevated ka, ma-appreciate mo yung value ng balcony. So, yun yung consideration kung bakit ma 
ganun siya kamahal. Si third floor naman, that's 1,920,000. Kasi um, mas mura siya kasi sa second floor. Kasi medyo, medyo mataas na si third floor kung aakyatin. So, ganun yung ano niya, basis ng ating computation if ever may nag -ask. Okay. So, again, um, building Azure, yung inventory natin. All units, by the way, is exclusive for bank financing. So, what are our accredited banks? We have six accredited banks. This Union Bank, RCBC, AUB, May Bank, UCPB, Chaka BDO. What's good is we will be the one to process the loan application. All you need to do or all the clients need to do is submit the necessary requirements. So, ganun lang siya ka-easy. And then, um, ano pa ba? So, this is a 24 square meter. Ito, yung down payment or equity, that's 12.5% of the total contract price. So, let's say that 12.5% of 1,834,000 is 229,215. Yung reservation, lahat ng units, regardless of the floor, is only 10,000 pesos. So, yung reservation fee is deductible siya sa down payment. So, that would become 229,250 na magiging 219,250 divide payable for 16 months. Kasi ongoing construction na to. So, so, monthly down payment is 13,704. So, the remaining loanable amount is 1,604, depending kung ilang years mo siya kukunin. So, ganun, ganun yung ano niya. Ganun yung presentation ng ating price. Sige lang, if my questions pa kayo, I can answer you later. Okay, so this is our available inventory. Lahat ng naka-blue, that's sold. Lahat ng white, yan na lang yung available. As you can see, um, sold out na po tayo. Sa Azure na to ha, sold out na po tayo for... Um, ground floor tsaka second floor. So, remaining inventory natin is third floor tsaka fourth floor. Ayan. Uy, may ano pala ako. Sabi ko sold out na si, si RFO. Di ba si Scarlett yung second building natin, RFO? Meron tayong isang reopened unit. Sige lang, isi-share ko to sa group chat natin. RFO na siya, ready for occupancy. As long as mga fully paid yung down payment, pwede nang lipatan yung unit. So, ito yung presentation niya. Sa magenta naman, may ano tayo, may available inventory tayo sa magenta. That's ano, a uh, third floor siya, reopen isang isang unit lang din. Isang unit lang din siya. i share ko din to later. Ito siya since ongoing construction yung building nasa 12 months yung down payment. Ayan, ayan siya sa inventory. Okay. So ayun, um again we will be the one to process the loan application. Upon reservation, the only documents we need is two valid ID. Kahit wala ng PCIP, two valid ID, or kahit hindi kayang two valid ID, one valid ID, tsaka reservation fee. That's okay. And then, we process online reservation, especially this time. Lahat ng ano natin is online reservation. So, this is our office address, the second floor, Silverdale Building, Corner Capistano, Mabini State, Cagayan, de Oro City. So, we are open Monday to Sunday and even holidays. Our official Facebook account, it's Bria Kondo CBO. And this is my contact number, Kathy, 0917-874-1942. So, that's it about Bria Kondo. Do you have any more questions <laughs> before we proceed with the next presentation? Question, guys, for the condo. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Ayun, stop ko yung sharing. Okay. Sige, questions, everyone. Kung wala na, mag exit na ako. <laughs> uh, for, for the condo, guys, um, uh, that, that's exactly correct what um, Miss have shared. Uh, there is much more of a demand for condo uh, units, actually. 
So, especially that Cagayan is already a metropolis. So, we have question, Miss Alchi, Miss Alchi Ibarra. Oh, yes, good day, ma'am. Um, about the requirements, ma'am, how could we how could we comply the requirements? Paano po maibigyan po? Actually, you can email, ma'am, all the documents na need natin. Uh, so upon reser opo, upon reservation we will be parang um discuss kung kaninong email address is a send. Uh, okay ma'am, thank you. What else? Um ilang building lahat okay. miss uh, again nga ilang building uh, lahat ang buong Approximately buong... target natin talaga is um 20 <laughs> 80 <laughs> buildings. Hindi, 7 buildings siya, 20 units per floor. Ah, okay. So, so, total of seven buildings. Naka, ilang building na nga tayo, miss? Nakatatlong sold-out building na tayo, Naka sir. Na. Nasa four buildings. Nasa four building fourth building, building na tayo. Na tayo available. Ah, ah, okay. So, guys, marami-rami pa yan, no? Uh, yes, go, 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 go. Mag-i-enjoy pa tayo. Dyan. question. Wait. Oo, oh, oh, if kaya nyo ihabol yung clients nyo until May 31, we have cash incentive for the seller uh, amounting to up to 10,000 pesos cash incentive. So if Until you want May to know 31, more about that one. Okay. May 31 yes. cash incentive up to 10,000 pesos. Okay, Mel, you have question? Yes, I have question. Miss Catherine, how about the parking lot? So is it free? Yun nga po. Mm -mm. Yun po, na-mention ko kanina, as of this time, your parking area natin is um, free pa siya. Wala pa tayong binibenta. So, since it's free, it's first come, first serve basis. And so, then, the in time, means? the condo juice, yung sinisingin ng property management natin is nasa 1,000 pesos per month. Ah, okay. Yes. Sige, sige. Yun lang po. Thank you. Uh, Any more okay. questions, guys? Condo juice, uh, 1,000 pesos per month that will cover for the maintenance of the free spaces yes. and okay. probably for the security guard and all of others. Course. So, yeah. that's very, uh, ano na, that's very mura actually compared to other... Yes, projects. of course. Okay. Sige, yung iba, if you're still holding with your questions, we can proceed na lang with the presentation of the house and lot para... Tuloy-tuloy yung presentation so that you can reserve your questions later. Um, okay lang? Yes. Or may question pa kayo? Uh, uh, dito, may isa. Uh, sige, uh, with sige. regards to uh, commissions, ano yung timeline mo, ma'am, sa commission? Commission release? Um, Naka-milestone tayo. So, hmm. bale, um, pag, I think, naka- 40% DP from the DP na si client magre-release. So, ganun ah, okay. So, at least 40%. At yes. least 40%. So, okay. yun, Sir James, no? Uh, at least 40% the buyer can uh, uh, payment has been made. Uh, that's the time that the Bria can start processing for the but actually, opo, oh, But actually, the advance, so we have advance commission naman. So, that's 50% minus the attacks for the reservation fee it release siya after the reservation fee. Ah, okay. So, so there will be some advances. Okay. Yes. So that's it, Sir James. No, there are advanced commission that they will determine right after the reservation. And the rest of the commission will be given or processed when maka 40% na si buyer yes. ng payment. Apo. Okay. Thank you. Sige, miss, let's proceed. Okay, so I will be calling with me si, ano, si Janisa to present our house and lot. Okay, Janisa? Isang, isang, isang office lang kayo, miss? Si Bria? Opo, Plaza, nasa isang office. Ah, okay. Opo, pero actually, main office kasi namin dito sa Capestrano, ako most of the time, nasa site ako nag-office, so andun ako sa kauswagan kung saan yung condo natin. Ah, so, may isang okay. unit ako doon ah, okay. <laughs> na office, hindi so, kasi, akin. <laughs> kasi dito sa Cebu, Miss, yung Bria Flats namin is handled by Coho kasi eh. Coho, opo, mm. opo. Mm -hmm. Okay, Same thank you. Same with Las Piñas. Oh. Sige, Ganun I will din. be calling opo sa Coho na siya. Sige, ako Miss Ka, thank you very much for Bria. your time. Thank you. If you have questions, pwede nyo erase later after the presentation ni Miss Janisa. Thank okay. you. Okay, thank you. Hello po, good afternoon. Yes ma'am, good afternoon. Hello sir. Ah, ako po, magpapakilala muna po ako sir. Sige um, miss, please. Yes po. 
So I am Janita Medi Basho, the Sales and Marketing Officer of Bria Homestagen di Oro po. So, narinig naman po ako ng lahat po, no? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Very clear. Okay. So, with their, without further ado, uh, simulan ko na po yung presentation ko, sir. Yes, ma'am. Para ma address niyo na po yung questions niyo regarding the Home CBS. Yes, thank you. All right. Okay. All right. So, as explained by Ms. Cathy a while ago po, Bria Homes is noble and strong because it is the first residential brand of Golden Bria Holdings and the third largest real estate company in terms of market capitalization. Again, sir, we are under Golden Bria Holdings Incorporated and one of our um, sister company is Golden Heaven. I know, uh, alam niyo na po yung company because it offers memorial lots. So, run through po na lang po to para ma-proceed ko rin po yung uh, project for Bria Home CBO. Okay, ma'am. Next po, again, we have four, uh, more than 50 projects nationwide. So, ito po yung mga projects na in-offer ng Bria Home. So, if ever may client kayo over Philippines, you can also contact us, uh, Bria uh, Marketing Officers, so that we can address it to the marketing or designated marketing staffs per area. Kasi meron din kami mga contact numbers nila for at least ma-help namin kayo sa pag-reserve ng iyong Bria Homes. Another thing din po, sir, um, what are our target markets? So, importante po na alam natin kung kanino tayo pwede magbenta ng Bria Homes. Una po, long-time renters who are seeking to own their first home. So, importante po i-reach out natin yung mga long-time renters. Kasi ang house natin dito sa Bria is rent to own. Meaning, nagbabayad ka po at in the future, mapapasa iyo rin po yung bahay. So, let's find if you have, meron kayong mga target market, meron kayong mga friends na long-time renters na talaga. So, you offer nyo po yung Bria homes natin. Mas maganda rin po yung pinselling kasi mura pa rin po yung unit na, unit na bibili nila. At least po, in the future, tataas din ang market value ng bahay. So next, sir, <clears throat> invent stores who are looking for rental income opportunities. Of course, best option din po ito, itong Bria Homes natin for the, for those who are investors kasi in the future po, wala po talagang lugi sa real estate. Kasi in the future, or baka three months after, makikita na po din natin yung improvement ng uh, site or improvement ng price kasi hindi po ito nag-depreciate kundi na i-increase yung value or your market value ng particular property po. Lastly is uh, parents who are seeking homes for their children studying in the city. For example po dito sa Cagayan de Oro City, marami tayong mga uh, university schools who are really good for your students or for the for the kids. So if you're sure if you came from the province, of course, mas mabuti rin na safety yung mga kids niyo. Uh, may bahay, may sariling bahay na matitirhan dito sa city which is here in Taguig de Oro since ito ay one of the moving cities in the Philippines. So, mas mabuti rin na kumuha tayo ng own Bria Homes dito which is napakamura pa ngayon. So later isasabihin ko rin sa inyo na kung bakit Bakit madaling maubos yung Bria Home CBO, no? Kasi maraming, alam ko sa inyo, maraming nagtatanong kung anong available ng Bria, bakit wala ng row house. So, later, didiscuss ko rin po sa inyo kung ano, kung ano yung available unit dito sa Bria Home CBO. Next po, employees who want to live near their place of work. Of course, um, mas, ma mas ma madali pong magtrabaho, no? Kung ang bahay natin ay malapit lang kung saan tayo nagpatrabaho. So, importante rin po na makakuha tayo ng bahay or ng unit kung saan malapit lang sa pinagpatrabahoan natin. Which is, here in CDO, marami na tayong businesses, marami na mga kampanya, so mas mabuti na meron tayong own house dito sa Bia Home CDO. And lastly, OFW families who want to ensure that their hard-earned money does not go to waste. Of course, importante rin yung tapat kung nagmay trabaho tayo, mas mabuti rin na may paglalaanan ang pera natin. So, another thing po, nag-a-accept rin po tayo dito sa Bria Home CDO na mga OFW, so if may mga friends po kayo na nagtatrabaho overseas, so pwede nyo rin po opera ng Bria Home CDO, especially if may kontrata silang 2 years doon. So, yung units natin, more or less po, Yung turnover natin is 2 to 3 years from now, tentative po. So, mas mabuti rin po yun kasi pag uwi nila, ready na po yung unit. So, at least may makita yung perang 
pinag uh, earn talaga nila dun sa uh, abroad. So, ganun siya. So, marami tayong target market. So, marami tayong dapat tingnan or i-push to pa kasi marami din tayo at least sila ma-offera natin ng via home. At at the same time, we also earn from that. So, another thing, why via? So, minsan tinatanong natin, bakit sa via tayo yung mag invest Unang-una, isa po talaga to sa tagline natin, isa via mura or affordable. Because, as we all know, ang budget natin is really kind of fixed na yan. Sa mga, example, sa minimum wage earners, may fix na talaga tayong income na hindi pinatala natin or mga expenses every month. So, dito sa Bria, tinatarget natin yung mga, not only the minimum wage earners, but also those who are above minimum wage earners. So, mas mabuti na makapag-invest tayo dito sa Mura, which in the future, will also earn our, of course, ang pag-increase ng mga uh, market value ng property. Pangalawa, the quality and design. Maganda. Hindi basta, hindi, hindi, hindi char-char or hindi, hindi siya basta-basta. So, maganda yung unit or quality ng bahay natin. Kasi ang mga materials na ginagamit natin will really, is really strong and can really, uh, what you call this, make your home more safe. Another thing, turnover efficiency. Mabilis. Yung turnover natin, on point talaga siya. Pag sinasabing 2 to 3 years from now, we'll really make sure that we can deliver it on that particular year. Next is accessibility. So, malapit sa lahat. Importante kung may bahay tayo or may kinukuha tayong bahay, may kukunin tayong unit, of course, dapat alamin natin kung saan, saan malapit. Malapit ba sa paaralan? Malapit ba sa malls? Malapit ba sa uh, hospitals? Ganon. So, sa unit natin sa Via Home City or later, I will also discuss what are the accessible uh, commercial or accessible things na makikita natin sa unit natin. Kung ito ba, malapit ba siya sa paaralan, malapit ba siya sa hospital, malapit ba siya sa mga malls, kung saan pwede tayong bumili ng mga kailangan natin. So, importante rin yun. So, accessible sa lapat sa lahat. And lastly is customer-oriented or mahusay ang serbisyo. Dito sa Bria Homes, we can accommodate reservations po now online because of our uh, experience like sa pandemic ngayon, hindi tayo pwedeng lumabas or kailangan may social distancing tayo. Kaya pinopromote natin ngayon ang online reservation. That's why you can you can make your reservation 24-7. You just need to add us, marketing officers, so that we can guide your clients also on how to reserve online and how they should fill out the, for, the forms online. So, ganyan lang talaga kadali yung online reservation natin dito sa Bia. It, act, it can actually reach a lot of buyers, especially that sa generation din natin ngayon, more on online na po talaga ang, more on, on online na po talaga ang connections natin. So, let's proceed po. So here, we offer here in Bria Home CDO only three letters to memorize. Only E, B, and A. Or what we call as EBA Collection. So dito sa CDO, complete po tayo ng in-offer. So we have Eliana, Bettina, and Alexa. And I will be this uh, each of the unit so that malam para malaman natin kung paano natin ito i-explain sa ating mga clients. So, let's start with the Mura. Ang Mura natin is ang Alexa. Alexa is our single firewall or single detached home here in Ria Home CDO. So, it has a floor area of 36 square meters and a minimum lot area of 81 square meters. So, upon turnover ng Alexa natin, nakatiles na po ito naka-partitions na at yung unit ready for occupancy na talaga. So, if ma-turn over na yung Alexa, livable na siya. Kasi kompleto na. Complete package na siya. So, but unfortunately, because of the demands here in Kagayan di Oro City, sold out na tayo sa Alexa unit. So, yung iba nag-a-ask, marami, uh, kasi isa rin ito sa saleable unit dito sa Bria Home CDO, which is our Alexa. Maraming gust, marami kasing nag-prefer ng bahay na ready na upon turnover. Sold out na tayo nito, but abang-abang lang tayo, baka may mga reopens in the future. So, 
Next is Bitina. So, ang Bitina natin is our two-story home here in Ria Home CDO. Uh, meron itong provision for two bedrooms at my carport na din. So, yung Bitina natin, ang kaibahan nito sa Alexa, ito hindi pa ready for occupy. I mean, hindi pa siya uh, fully packaged. So, meaning, bare unit pa siya upon turnover. Wala pang tiles, wala pang partitions. Pero naka-promo ito ngayon. So, ang promo man natin ito, hassle-free move-in promo. So, we have free water and electric application, free move-in fee, at free bank fees. So, ang masisave ng client ito is as much as 50,000 talaga. So, i-promote natin siya ngayon, yung Bitina, kasi naka-reopen rin tayo ngayon sa Bitina. Ang kaibahan pala ng picture natin, kasi sa picture natin, duplex siya. Pero yung... Uh, Yung Bitina Townhouse, it's either four, five, or six houses per cluster or per group. So, ito sa picture, uh, ito yung Bitina duplex, pero yung offer natin for Bria Home City is Bitina Townhouse. Meaning, it could be four, five, or six houses per cluster. So, ito yung sa kilid, ito yung modern contemporary architecture. So, ito yung um, par possible na area ng bahay sa Bitina. So, it has a 44 square meters for the floor area and yung So, example, sa apat na bahay ng isang cluster, ang uh, yung nasa gilid na dalawa is what we call as bitina end unit. Yung nasa gitna, yun yung bitina inner unit. So, yung minimum lot area ng bitina inner unit is 36 po at yung end unit is 54. So, ganun siya. Diyan ang difference ng bitina inner unit at end unit. And yung bitina na din ngayon, nakari open siya. So, if may mga clients kayo, at i-reserve natin sa Bria Home CDO kasi naka-promo tayo ng hassle-free move-in promo, which is free water and electric application, free move-in fee, and free bank fees. So, makakasave si client ng as much as 50,000 pesos. So, I, I assume and presume na pagkatapos ng uh, PKS na ito, no, masold out na si Bitina. At I know, baka BPP, DPPI ang makasold out nito. Go natin. Push natin yan, sir. Lastly is ang pinakamura. Pinakamura natin is what we called our Eliana. Sa Eliana, meron tayong... Uh, 24 square meters, which is the floor area, and a minimum lot area of 36 square meters. Same with Bitina, we also have Eliana inner unit and Ilya Eliana end unit. Same structure with the Bitina, but ang Eliana mas marami per cluster. So, merong possibly, possibly na 10 sila, 10 units per cluster kasi row house to eh. So, ito yung pinakamura natin with a minimum of 3,000 as the reservation fee for the inner unit, makaka-own ka na ng yung, yung bahay. House and lot na talaga. So, for the inner unit, it has a floor area of 24 and a lot area of 36 square meters. So, for the end unit, it has a minimum area of 24, lot area of 24, and a floor area, I mean, lot area of 36 and a floor area of 24. But unfortunately, again, because of the demands of the people here at Kagen de Oro, sold out na rin tayo ng Eliana units natin. So, di ba? We are selling like pancakes. So, madali lang talaga maubos ito sa Bria Home CDO. Kaya every time may reopen kami, abang-abang kayo sa mga group chats nyo. Kasi every time po na may reopen, Ang, pina, ang una talaga naming sinasabihan is kayo mga agents or dun sa group chat talaga ninyo. We always have our uh, announcements there, uh, yung mga um, uh, updates ng mga block and lots na available, ng mga inventories. Always kami nagsisend from time to time sa mga group chats niyo. So, I presume nandun na kayo naka-member na po kayo lahat sa group chat para at least ma-inform ma kayo if may mga reopens. So, next po, ito yung finished housing uh, dress-up unit po. So, actually, dito sa Bria Home CDO, wala pa tayong model unit. Pero, ang pinapakita namin sa mga clients dito is sa Manolo Fortish. Kasi same lang naman yung uh, dress-up unit ng Bria Homes 
uh, units or mga houses. So, yun yung pinapakita namin. But for now, wala kaming schedule for site tour because of our uh, situation like pandemic or COVID-19. Bawal yung mga uh, kailangan may social distancing, bawal luwabas ng bahay. So, yun. Uh, because of that, we also offer online site tour. So, if your clients want to see the dress up unit, pwede nyo rin kami i-contact marketing officers para ma-send namin sa inyo yung link ng houses para at least ma-forward namin sa inyo yung features sa loob ng bahay. So, ganun siya. So, next po is our housing unit finish. This is the bare unit. Yung mga bare unit pala natin, pre-painted na siya. So, wala siyang tiles, wala siyang partitions, pero upon turnover, pre-painted na siya. Kibali, white na yung, ano niya, yung, white na yung wall finishing niya. So, ganun siya. Dito ang deliverable unit ng Bria Homes. So, lastly, this is very important, no? Isa sa, uh, isa sa pinupromote natin upon, uh, isa sa pinupromote natin upon uh, buying our own house is the amenities. So, ano yung mga amenities na makakuha ng buyer? Una, we have covered basketball court or recreational court. Importante ito, di ba? Kasi if ever yung mga husbands natin, mga uh, anak nating mga lalaki gusto maglaro ng basketball court, at least meron sila magagamit sa loob lamang ng subdivision. Safety kasi, ang ating subdivision is my 24-7 guard house. Therefore, hindi pwede makapasok yung uh, kahit sino man lang. Kasi, kasi meron tayong 24-7 guard house. Next po, meron tayong guard house, as what I have said, at meron tayong perimeter fence. So, yung houses talaga natin is safety kasi ang whole subdivision ay naka-perimeter fence. So, di ba sa halagang 3,000 na reservation fee, meron ng perimeter fence at guardhouse at may playground pa and open spaces sa ating subdivision. So, before, pinopromote talaga namin yung Eliana Rojos. But for now, kasi sold out na siya, ang available natin is Bitina Inner at End Unit. So, after this PKS, contact nyo kami marketing if may mga possible clients kayo no na gusto mag-reserve ng uh, first and second floor na bahay or two story home ng Bria Home CDO uh, avail na natin yung promo kasi up until May 30 na lang siya so lastly how to avail importante rin ito no na malaman natin kung ano yung particular uh, requirements po kung paano mag-reserve sa Bria Home CDO Kasi isa yan din, rin ito sa mga uh, qualifications or isa rin ito sa tinitignan ng clients. Kung, minsan, minsan kasi kung may clients ay mag, magtatanong talaga sila kung ano ba talang requirements ng BIA? Madali lang ba? Marami ba? Upon reservation, ano ba? So ito, uh, how to avail BIA? Una, need lang ni client na mayroong one, at least one valid ID. So pangalawa, need lang niya na maka-fill out sa uh, uh, basic information sheet ng Bria Homes which is online. So later i-sasabihin ko or ilalagay ko sa group chat niyo kung ano yung online na uh, EBIS na or basic information sheet na kailangan i-fill out ni client kasi after niyo mag-fill out doon, kailangan niyo ring i-forward sa amin marketing officers para ma-qualify namin yung clients niyo. Para ma-qualify namin yung clients if ever uh, qualify ba siya sa housing na yun or need ba niya ng co or after kasi after niyan if ma-qualify na namin yung client there's a possibility po na bibigyan na namin sila ng, uh, ng inventory. If ever makapili na rin yung client nyo i-consult nyo rin siya sa amin marketing para ma-check namin if available pa rin yung lot kasi from time to time nag-change yung inventories natin. So ganun siya kabilis kasi if, more or less po everyday meron pong nag reserve dito sa Bria. That's why wag na tayo magpahuli kasi actually sold out na ito ni On, ngayon nag reopen na kami. Next, lastly is, we also need our reservation fee. Of course, this is important for our Bitina, our reservation is 10000 So, But don't worry, always tell it to your client that our reservation fee is deductible from the total equity. So, yung natitira na lang, Tsaka pa yan, dinedivide by 24 months. Kasi 24 months na yung term natin for the equity. So, 
this our this uh this is our accredited banks po but for Bria Home CDO for the financing as of now our CBC and Union Banks yung accredited natin so pwede tayong magbayad on BDO kasi ang option natin for payment ngayon is online payment or bills payment through banks po kasi di pa tayo nag-accept ng over the counter payment dito sa office so Yes, this is our uh, inventory here in Briam City. Actually, hindi to updated kasi last February 5, 2020 pa to, But we'll send to your group chat later the updated available here in Bria Home CDO. But this is our whole map. Always remember po, our area is 800 meters more or less from the highway. And it is located in Barangay Lumbia across Airport Exit. So, yung, meron kasi tayong airport before there in Lumbia. So, in front of the airport exit, pababa siya ng 800 meters. Pero pagdating sa area, patag na yan. So, this year din yung target land development and groundbreaking ng Bria Home CDO. So, target turnover natin is 2 to 3 years from now po. So, price natin is ito po. Again, we have Eliana Inner Unit, Eliana End Unit, Bitina Inner Unit, Bitina End Unit, and Alexa Single Firewall or Duplex. But as of the moment, our available unit po is Bitina Inner and Bitina End Unit. So, this unit has a reservation fee of 10,000 pesos. So, baka may tanong po kayo, sir? Guys, do you have questions uh, that you that you wanted to ask to uh, Miss here for Bria Homes CDO? No, that's in Barangay uh, Lumbia. Yeah. No, this is yes, sir. this is actually the the one going to the air, old airport now and yeah. Air Force Command na siguro yan, di ba? Mm, yes, in the future for going na po sila ja. Ah, okay. So any question, guys? Any questions, Ma'am? Marami yes, pa bang inventory nito o konti na lang? Actually, less than 20 na lang po, sir. So, habol-habol-habol. Baka kayo habol, po baka ubos nito, sir. Sige, sige na. Less than 20. But yes, right yes, after yes. this one, we still have a possible coming project, siguro. Siguro, sir. Kasi baka meron po rin kayong offer na block ay mga lots dito sa Bria Home City. Pwede nyo rin i-offer dito sa office namin, sir. For at least, uh, consider namin yun, sir, for the future developments here in CDO po. Ah, sige. Guys, yung market ng yung market natin for Bria are actually yung common people, no? So ito yung mga tao na most of the time na nagre-rent. Ito yung target uh, market ng ng Bria. But hindi rin ibig sabihin na yung mga partners natin na OFW ay hindi pwedeng mag-avail. So ito lang is ito yung opportunity. Okay, Mel, may question po kayo? Yes, Sir Job na. Meron na akong question. With regards sa Sige, Mel. Hello? Yes. Yes, Mel. Regarding sa Eliana inner unit. Yes, po. Miss, regarding sa kanyang ano, income, pwede ba yung, like for example, tricycle driver, just like the Bukidnon Bria? Is it possible yes, na maka-avail si Bayer? Yes, pero kukuha lang tayo ng... Eliana Inner, ma'am, no? Yung sa pag-ibig po. Yes, pwede, pwede po maka-avail si buyer nun, ma'am. But unfortunately po, sold out na po tayo ng Bria Hoops, Eliana Units po. But don't worry, ma'am, baka may mga reopens po tayo. Abang-abang na lang tayo sa group chat. So, bali, sold out na pala ito. Yes, ma'am. Available unit na lang natin is Bitina Inner and Bitina and Unit po. Question, ma'am, dyan yung sa... Ma'am, ma yung, yung akin po, ma'am, for verification pa yun si Ma'am L, yung client yes, na yun po. Apo. Okay po. Sige na. Ano pa na message kanya na yung... Lang. Yes, ma'am. A message na lang kita po if match ako na yung um, yung basic information sheet niya para at least mabigyan ko na rin siya ng block unlet. If nakapili na siya, i-check ko na lang po if apo, na meron, sold na siya. Pero na po, ano lang, na-change lang yung Kasi in-how, uh, di ba, ano yun? Hindi ah, siya okay, pwede okay. pag ano. Ah, Nag-antay na lang din siya na Dahil ano, sa OFW na lugar niya, ma'am nyo, yung sa okay. Israel po. Opo, yes po. Pero okay na siya nung, ano ma'am, no? in-house or deferred yung offer? Deferred daw po, ma'am, kasi malaki daw yung interest sa ano sa... Yung sa, sa in-house. In opo. opo. Mas mabuti rin po yung deferred kasi yung deferred natin, total contract price less the reservation fee of 10,000 tapos si divide lang yan ng 24 months. So malaki-laki siya pero wala talaga yung interest. Pero okay naman yung sa kanya ma'am no? Na ano ko yung income niya? Yes, okay lang naman po yun ma'am. 
ganda na lang siya kasi sabi ko bam bago ka po magpadala ng reservation may ano pa may briefing ka po yung yes, market po. bibigyan ko po pa siya ng mga details for at least aware si buyer tapos explain ko pa yun sa kanya yes po kasi ano sana mag magpapu- yung kapatid niya pero hindi daw nakakuha ng travel pass ay eh, uh, inano ko na lang siya na mag online reservation yes mas mabuti rin po yun ma'am kasi di pa naman po required na mag-sign talaga yung buyer at least makapagbigay rin po siya ng mga other informations baka may mga tanong pa siya online na lang yung transactions namin ay yes po ma'am yeah, yes, wow. ay, ano doon sa GC? well sir may isa ka na pala sir may, may isa na pala yes hindi uh, ko alam ngayon alam ko na <laughs> sundan pa natin sir ubusin oh. na natin ang Bria sundan pa natin no? sige po Eh, you, katatapos, katatapos lang nila mag-reserve ng Bria sa ano ma'am sa uh, Laguna, San Pablo Laguna. Wow. Ayun ko, basta sa Laguna. Santa Cruz, sir. Santa Cruz. Ah, Santa Cruz, sorry. Uh, ngayon, ngayong wow. araw na yun na to sa Santa Cruz Bria Laguna. Congratulations po. So, uh, focus project ni Milona po yan ma'am, ang Bria yeah, sa buong yeah. buong bansa, lahat ng wow. Bria sa buong bansa. Focus uh, focus brand yeah. po niya yan. Mm. Oh, oh, go, 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 mamelona. Oh, ba focus group niya kasi da- pinagdarasal niya na baka bigyan daw siya ng isang unit na Bria. <laughs> so, any, any more question, no? So, that's good news pala. So, post natin to, guys. Okay. Ma'am, yung yung um may may pwede ka bang ma-flash diyan na contact uh, contact ah, number yes, natin so. para mm-hmm. it would become more easier for us to communicate with you just in case po magka problema yung mga signals po natin sure sure ito po yung contact number ng Bria Home CDO ayan po ayan okay 5177 so if okay. may concerns po kayo we are open and put Monday to Sunday so you can contact us okay. para tis masagot natin yung lahat ng mga tanong niyo especially pag reservations talaga oh, oh. <laughs> makahabol pa tayo guys may 20 yeah. ano pa yun no? may 20 plus units pa so pwede pang uh, habulin yan so uh, guys yung wala pa sa group chat ng Bria CDO pa, please yes, paki-inform yung mga mga uplines nyo na magpa-add kayo doon sa Bria CDO para mas convenient po kay ma'am na mag-facilitate ng mga questioning. Just in case na wala kayong connection at nasa labas kayo, you can always uh, send them a text message para ma-address yung mga urgent question para sa mga buyers po natin. So, any more question bago po tayo uh, mag-enjoy ng weekend natin? Kasi weekend, <laughs> yes, sa, sa, sa Bria, hindi sila nag-weekend. May Sunday duty sila. Yeah. <laughs> so, tuloy, so tuloy have, sila. Actually, may kasama rin akong marketing, sir. Si Sir ah. Pete Apriano. Sa dalawa kami, meron, nan, I think, nandun na kami sa group chat niyang DPTI. Ay, ay, sige. Kahit pa paano... Maraming sasagot ng mga tanong niyo po. Ay, salamat. No? <laughs> Kahit pa paano, ma'am, all throughout this uh, pandemic, we were selling quite good with Bria, all, mm-hmm. all across the, the the country na mga Bria projects and mm-hmm. um, so far naman po maganda naman yung serbisyo ng Bria sa sa yes. mga sellers talaga no so, talaga uh, yan sa mga edge na <laughs> so <laughs> kaya nga so, it, it's it's really uh, ako ako personally I, I really salute and really commend the the service that have been rendered sa Bria especially right now sa pandemic area time uh, you, no doubt no Bria have served the the real estate industry quite very well no quite very well thank you po sir so any more question ba, bago mag ano magbabay meron pa ba <laughs> okay ma'am maraming salamat po sa time na binigay niyo at sana po pag may mga bagong project tayo update niyo po agad kami para maka yes, yes po. po tayo at hindi naman hindi naman ngayon imposible ang mga PKS natin eh, kasi may may technology na tayong available ngayon. Yes. Okay, ma'am, thank you and uh, salamat po. po sa accommodation ng client namin. Thank you sige, and everybody. Sir, baka thank pwede you. tayong mag-picture muna or Yes, pwede tayong mag-picture. Sige, 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 sige. Okay. Guys, kindly open your camera so that we can do some picture takings. Uh, open your cams, open your cams. Yan para makita naman kahit papaano. Open your cams. Kanina, marami-rami yun. Ngayon, nagsiuwian na siguro or ano ba, tulog na, tulog pa siguro. Uh, yan. Smile naman kayo. Grabe, stricto naman. Yan, smile. 
Hindi makaya to ng ano eh ng isang shot siguro miss. Dala, gawin mo dalawa siguro kasi yung screen medyo marami-rami yung attendance. Kaya kayo diyan na nasa Facebook Live, dito na kayo sumali sa Zoom para kasali kayo sa picture taking. Uh, doon sa Facebook Live hindi kasali sa picture taking. Uh, ang dito sa Zoom lang ang kasali sa picture taking. Okay? Yan. So guys, happy weekend. Stay safe everyone. We are not yet totally safe for the pandemic. Things are I don't know. I don't know if things are getting better or things are yet starting to get worse. 